Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Crusher, a fantastic new AUV3 effect from Audio Thing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. And also, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and have the possibility to own a copy of Crusher, please do follow the instruction in the video description. Thank you very much. As you can see, Crusher UI is typical of Audio Thing, other apps, really nice, neat, and very simple. So let's go through the controls very quickly because they are very simple and then we'll put it into practice. So starting from the top here, you have the selection of preset. So you have a number of preset which come with the app. You have factory banks and also preset banks. That's nice and simple. You can save a preset, delete a preset, randomize as well. And you, know, you can also lock parameters as you move between uh, presets. So standard controls really uh, for all the audio thing apps. Here you have uh, a access to a menu where you can do soft clipping. Of course, you can uh, also do a uh, lock call parameter, lock all parameter, and you can do preset copy and paste, uh, access to online manual and about, again, standard controls and options uh, from the main menu of all the other um, audio thing apps. And here you can bypass the uh, app if you would like so. Up here, you have a representation of um, um, a visual representations, which you can use a display that you can use to actually select uh, your frequency here horizontally and also the resonance uh, vertically. You can see also uh, the, the two dials underneath uh, changing accordingly the cutoff frequency and the resonance as well. You can enable or disable the filter because the app is a filter plus a uh, Brit Crusher, of course. And here you can decide what type of filter you want, a low pass two four poles, a high pass two four poles, a band pass two or four poles, and then a notch two or four poles. You can set the uh, filter to be pre or post the crusher as well. You can then change the cutoff frequency and the resonance and the output. Next, you can enable the crusher on and off like that. You can decide to reduce the number of bits here the reduce the sample rate here and then you can introduce some harshness some harmonic distortion really and then you have your dry wet effect here as well okay so well let's at the moment i have uh, um configure it to be an effect of an audio uh, track where i have a simple file which is being pre-generated, which now I show you what it sounds like without, of course, the effect. Okay, and let's introduce uh, uh, Crusher. Let's open it up and now let's play, first of all, with some of the factory presets. And now let's uh, go back. now that we are back to the init preset let's play a little bit with the different type of filter to uh, show you the differences really Okay, now let's act on the reducing the bits and also the sample uh, rate. So let's try. Let's 
Let me show you what happens pre and post here. And now let's play we are with the down sample rate. Okay, so um, the app also come with a number of uh, uh, parameters which are exposed as an audio unit. And what I really like to actually use in this case is to create a MIDI track and uh, bring up a new rack, which I think is another nice app, which um, is ideal in this case, actually, to manipulate some of the parameters inside the um, Crusher. So let's go inside the new rack and this is not a tutorial for new rack, but let's edit the UI and click on the plus here, sign, add some MIDI and why not a MIDI CC um, generator here. Yeah, we set the CC one to zero and the second one to one, like so. We exit here and um, let's come out from this and make it some adjustment like so. Let's go to AUM here. Let's select a MIDI control and set as a MIDI source to new rack on port number one, like so. And then um, let's go to um, here on the channel, channel number one, select things crusher. And now let's scroll down. Let's say, for example, on cutoff, we're going to activate it for CC0. And on resonance, we are going to activate it for CC number one. So now let's open up crusher and um, perhaps we make some adjustment uh, to the UI so we can see it a little bit better, like so. And um, there you go, that, um, that will do like that. And now let's play. So you can see I can change the cutoff frequency here. Really nice, you can have a lot of fun and uh, even more if you know how to use new rack, you can have even more fun with uh, Crusher as well. So for example, let's add the N automation and the visual LFO like so and we say assign it at the CC generator for value number uh, one and uh, let's click play. <laughs> So you can see in this case, the LFO is manipulating or altering the value here, value number one for CC1, which is linked to the cutoff here. So a nice way to actually do automated modulation on AU parameters, in this case from Crusher. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and demonstration, and as always, see you next time. Bye.